doing my over-the-shoulder passes. Right now, I'm passing to two lanes. And these are the outside lanes. There's a lane here, and there's a lane here. So, here, see? That lane to the left. Now the lane to the right. There's one that's directly in the center of you as well. And if I do my figure eights, what I may do is may cut my body in half, and it's going to roll right in that lane right here. So outside lane to my right, inside lane right here, right in the center. So as I do my figure eights, well, boom, up, boom, up. So now as I do my over-the-shoulder passes, I'll just add a figure eight. Okay? Here. Figure eight, up, figure eight, up, figure eight, up, figure eight, up. Slow motion again. Once I grab it, once I grab it, outside, center, up, outside, center, up, outside, center, up. See that? Outside, center, up. So practice that a few times. What you can do to practice it, you already know the over-the-shoulder pass, and you should know the reverse figure eight already. Practice your reverse figure eight, but don't go through your body. Don't go through the other way now. We're just going to break it in half right here. We're going to stop the second swing here instead of to the outside. So, be careful with the fire because the fire is going to be right in your face. But as you go towards the middle lane right here, your other hand can catch it. The moment you catch it, the hand that was uh, using it before is going to flick it in the air and give it the momentum, just like how we use the rips. You remember how the rips flick it in the air like this? Well, this time, I'm going to grab it, flick it in the air, and we're going to use that as a momentum to create the other figure eight. So the right hand is going to do your figure eight. It's kind of going down the center. We're going to grab it. Okay? Here's what it'll look like right here. Boom. Right there. You don't want to get too close. You're going to hit your head. This is why we use foam right now. So be sure you have your hand extended out and feel the distance that you need to be. And right there. Um, again, the best way to practice is to simply grab it and do it over again until you can feel really comfortable. Reverse figure eight, grab. If you're not grabbing right or if it bounces off, oh no, just keep trying it until you can get that feel. It's right here. If you don't grab it, just go back to that reverse figure eight and do it again until you can grab it. Once you grab it, the hand to the outside flings it up, and then you're doing a reverse figure eight with the other hand. Again, once we come towards the center, grab. Other hand, flicks. Grab, flicks. Grab, flicks. Grab. Eventually what you'll do is you just go straight in one pattern, like this. See? So now, we can do this. Up, over, up, over, up. Over, up, boom, boom, up, boom, up, boom, up, boom, up. Or, we can go here. Yeah. This center line grab here. So we're doing the reverse figure eights again. I just wanted to show this to you just so you know. You can omit the figure eights and just do pure center line grabs as well. Straight through. And all that is, is the hand is pushing it through one revolution and catching it. Push it through, catch. The hand that's in the back pulls to the front, and then it becomes the launching point. So, here, boom. Now this is like an over-exaggeration. You're actually only giving it one revolution in slow motion. 